Elon Musk has expressed his frustration at a supply chain nightmare he believes is denting the automobile industry globally, used by some as an excuse to blame Brexit. During a Twitter conversation with his followers, one of them asked the tech mogul about his upcoming Cybertruck. Mr. Musk replied, Oh man, this year has been such a supply chain nightmare and it's not over. He added, I will provide an updated product roadmap on next earnings call. With British industry also feeling the pinch of a supply chain shortage, some have blamed the lack of supplies on Brexit. However, the impact of the global shortage of semiconductors appears to be a more realistic reason for production delays. Chronic shortages of chips, the tiny semiconductors essential to a myriad of technologies, as well as high labor and transport costs, mean Christmas gifts this year. Such as video games, consoles and mobile phones, may be much harder to come by. The chip shortage is a significant contributor to the global supply chain issues which have plagued the world since COVID hit. While the latest figures show things are improving in the US, supply shortages in the UK and the EU are only getting worse. Orders to inventory ratio at factories and shops across Europe are continuing to rise. One key industry is cars. Consulting firm Alex Partners estimated in September the semiconductor chip shortage is expected to cost the global automotive industry £157 billion, $210 billion, in revenue in 2021. The Tesla boss has criticized the largest chip manufacturers for the supply shortages, which have hampered Tesla production. Video game producers have also been hit especially hard, as the chips are essential for their output. Nintendo had to drastically cut its production plan of consoles due to the shortage, and stocks of the Xbox Series 10 and PlayStation 5 have been continually running low since the beginning of the pandemic. The heavy startup and running costs or semiconductor plants mean ramping up production, through new competitors, is difficult. The US, which once produced 37% of the world's semiconductors, now accounts for just 12%. Brexit meant the UK missed out on a new semiconductor factory from Intel, which instead decided to focus on the EU market. However, Brexit Britain could lead the way in green energy by reviving the production of rare earth magnets, cutting reliance on Chinese imports, and outgunning the EU in the tech industry. There are plans to restart domestic production of super-strong magnets used in electric vehicles and wind turbines with government support, tech insiders have claimed. A government-funded feasibility study published earlier this year laid out the steps the UK must take to restart the output of rare earth permanent magnets, the sources said. Automakers will need the magnets as they ramp up EV output in Britain. Ford said last month it would invest up to £230 million in an English plant to produce around 250,000 EV power units a year from mid-2024.
The current global shortage of semiconductors means the production of British-made supermagnets would be a welcome addition to car manufacturing and distribution in the future. The ongoing crisis is a stark reminder of how important these tiny semiconductors are to our everyday lives, and of the importance of supply chain resilience and competition. The lack of goods is not the only consequence, as the stability of workers' jobs is jeopardized as factories face having to close while they wait out the storm of shortages. So concerned are the U.S. over the shortage, that President Joe Biden has ordered his Commerce Secretary to take action over a so-called CHIP Act. Commerce Secretary Gene Romando on Monday urged the House of Representatives to immediately pass legislation that supports U.S. production of semiconductor chips to avoid future supply interruptions and lower the country's dependence on parts from China. Speaking in the Motor City, Romando used an ongoing global shortage of chips that has depleted vehicle inventory levels and caused rolling shutdowns of U.S. auto plants as proof the country needs to ensure its supply chains for critical components such as semiconductor chips. For Elon Musk, Brexit and the rest of the automobile industry all eyes are on the next wave of the COVID-19 virus which may once again bring global production to a standstill.